Hey Studio 5, it's Emily McCormick. I have to share this fun little home decor trend that we just tried because my bathroom needed a major refresh. Get ready for it. Ah, wallpaper, I love this so much. This is um, kind of a blue chinois wallpaper that we found by Tebow. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Pretty nice, right? This has officially become my happy place and uh, I think it just brightened up this room so much. Loving this wallpaper trend. Okay, so are we. Even regular people like our own favorite Studio 5 fashion contributor, Emily McCormick, taking the plunge with big print wallpaper. Have you seen this trend out there? Emily says she would put now a big print in a small space again and again and again. I can see why that is just amazing. So here's the question. Could you do the same? I guess the only downside is that it might look dated in years to come. So to find the happy medium, we invited designer with Timeless Style, Jessica Bennett here to weigh in. Great to have you as always. Thank you. Is there a trick then to selecting wallpaper with good staying power? Yeah, I mean, I always think if your heart just loves it, you know, like that chinoiserie thing, it's not necessarily on trend, but it's bold and it's super fashionable. So I think fashionably, whatever feels at home to you is gonna be the right choice. So it's a speak to you sort of decision. For me it is. I love wallpaper so much. I was just telling Jessica, one of my favorite design topics because it, it makes such a huge difference, a huge statement in the space, obviously. Yes, I'm so happy it's back. So two different categories we're talking about today. There's pattern, that's fun. Let's start with texture though. I'm noticing a lot of textured wallpaper. Yes, yeah, so we have like grass cloths, um, there's cork wallpapers, there's leathers, there's linens, so it looks like our walls have been upholstered. So I find that those are really sophisticated in master bedrooms, living rooms, family rooms, spaces where you're not really going to tire of it, but it's going to elevate the room. Does this replace paint altogether then, or when do you decide to use textured wallpaper as opposed to just a flat matte color? Uh, yeah, I would say it replaces paint altogether in those large spaces. It looks beautiful installed. So good yeah. good spaces in the home, living rooms you mentioned, yeah. bedrooms, kind of the larger areas. Yes. All right, prints. What are we looking for when it comes to prints? Prints. So you saw in that last segment, I would use a print in a small space, just like you're saying. It's kind of like when you go into a Nordstrom dressing room and they create this little world for you and you feel suddenly more fashionable because you're having this little tiny experience. I think the powder bath, it's a great time to do that because you're going to spend a little bit of time in there. You're never going to get sick of it because you're in and out. I think closets are oh. really good in another small space. Okay. Kids' bedrooms to kind of create their own little fantasy world. So do you do all four walls then when you're, when you're employing wallpaper in a space? I do, unless we're just hitting a ceiling or the backs of built-ins. Then I'd say we could add accent there. But otherwise, I think it kind of just cheapens the room and makes it feel flat to only have one, room, one wall in a room. I really love wrapping the whole envelope in wallpaper. Kid spaces, so charming, yeah. so sweet. Are we looking for softer colors or give us some guidance on what paper we would pick out for a kid's yeah, space Yeah, you in bet. Particular? So obviously we know our own kids. Yes. So it's gonna be their personality that's gonna come into play. Um, big imagination I think is really fun if you've got one of those kids that has one of those. Um, otherwise you could do something more subtle in the bedroom and then maybe hit the closet in something wild. And cause that door is always open, you know it is. And it's kind of that pocket square moment or like a really great jacket lining to be able to have that door open and see that closet all beautiful and imaginative with little tiny pink dresses lined up. Okay, so, hold the phone, we're mixing yeah. wallpaper then. Yeah. You could do one You could do wallpaper pattern. Or if you're nervous, just paint that bedroom and go crazy in the closet. Oh, I got you. I yeah. got you. I, I, would, I would put wallpaper on every wall in my house. I think that's how yeah. much I love it. So kids space is great. Nursery is great. Powder bath. We saw Emily did her powder bath. Again, that small yes. space feel. Yep. So we love to go crazy on the powder bath and laundry room. We have a couple of good examples here. Again, you can use a lot of pattern because it's such a small space and you're not going to get sick of it. You're going to spend a limited amount of time in that bathroom mm -hmm. and your guests are going to use it. So I am, I'm always going to go for more pattern in there. I thought even this could be cute in a laundry room. I love that. Right? Kind of those French, that sort of French linen yes. look. Really cute. And this um, marbled paper also kind of evokes sort of water and soap and you know, that sort of feeling. So just depending on, again, who you are fashionably, how conservative, how wild you are. Um, I think these are all really great examples of how to use pattern in a small space. I know we're talking powder room exclusively, but if you were to expand to a bathroom, is there anything to be concerned about the dampness or the moisture in the air when it comes to wallpaper? Yeah, so that's a really great question. Um, it does depend. There are some that are rated for wet spaces. There are vinyls that look like linens. They're scrubbable, and so those are really great too for like homework rooms and whatnot. You can so, wash the wallpaper. Definitely, okay. yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Scrub it at least. I shouldn't say wash it. Don't yeah. wad it up and throw it in the washing machine, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. All right. Yeah. A couple other more creative applications you're bending our brain to. One is bookcases, lining your bookcases. Yes. So I think this really elevates the built-in. I feel like everybody has built-ins mm -hmm. right now. So yeah, lining the interiors with those. Um, we've got a couple different examples. I threw a little piece of grass cloth behind here so you could kind of imagine like your books and your objects with this behind. It really gives your eyes something to read to and all of a sudden everything feels more sophisticated. It's like, you know, like a black car, how everything just looks prettier on dark colors yes, or yes. or even like this metallic texture, you know, if you're dressy, um, this woven is kind of a plaid to keep it more casual. Uh -huh. So there's all different feelings um, that you could get for the back of your built-in. I would say stay solid and then do a texture though. So keep it the textured yeah. for the interest there. Yeah. All right, ceilings, can we hit the ceilings with yes. wallpaper? I heard you say that and my brain went ding. Yeah, you know how sometimes people have tray ceilings and you're like, oh, they did this beautiful beautiful crown molding and created the square. Right, and typically we paint the inside sometimes yeah. if we're getting crazy. Yeah, so let's not forget that. I think hit it with something. And so I brought this paper along. This is also really beautiful in closets to hit the lid and just the lid only. And then you could take one of these plum tones or soft pinks and then come down the walls from there. And so it's just a really luxurious, beautiful trick. And chandeliers look beautiful coming out of a papered ceiling. Oh my goodness, it would dance, right? Yeah. It would just skip across the the light. Totally. So consider where you have a fancy, you know, chandelier or light yeah. fixture. Yeah, and so one tip, if you're thinking about doing your ceiling and your building, just make sure and just skim coat that so that it's flat. You don't want one of those textured ceilings to have to wallpaper on what top of it. if you have textured walls? Then you can have somebody come back and float. Oh, on the wall yeah. itself. Yeah. yeah, so the paper's going to hold a lot better and look better if it doesn't have bumps underneath. So you might want to mud over it. Uh-huh. My girly girl in me is like doing a happy dance. What, where would yeah. you recommend that sparkly, really sheen, sophisticated yeah, paper? Yeah, so we we love this whole um, this whole moment for ceilings. Mm. Hitting that up. There's a pink one there. I have a book open with a chandelier showing, but um, I think that would be beautiful. Uh, there's a concept um, in one of the rooms. We'll show you where we did a barrel vault ceiling and we silver leafed it. So there's even silver leaf wallpaper that. I think just makes the space feel so elevated. I saw that photo just a few minutes ago as you were as you were talking. My mouth hit the ground. It was just yeah. stunning. Yeah. So I mean, if you're so going to architecturally do the work to do a barrel vault or uh, you know a tray ceiling or coffered ceilings yeah. are great to hit paper inside of each of those squares. So yeah, I mean it's a great sort of fashionable dressing moment. Not to end on a downer. Yeah. The one place or the one decision where we can go wrong with wallpaper. Where do you see it go wrong or done poorly mm, or? That's a great question. I just think getting the mood right mm. is really important. Um, I don't know that kitchens usually need a lot of pattern or anything like that because we have backsplash and a lot of rhythm already with cabinetry and everything else. Right. I would hit the interiors of the cabinets if you have glass fronts and just do a little Pop, pocket square moment but I just I think an interior shouldn't be overwhelming visually to take in and so I think just knowing when to play a trick and when to pull back your words are so good yeah. I'm inspired thank you so much what's good. coming up at Alice Lane oh my gosh we're in the middle of our very best sale which is the very best sale of the year awesome so everything um, all furniture case goods everything's 20% off oh, so nice. it's a really good time to shop Alice Lane you can shop in person of course or online yeah. we'll link you over to their website from ours great to see you Jessica good thank you so you. much